Hey everybody, my name is Rodney Dupree with Cajun Living and Cooking. And due to some of the tough times we have in our area right now, due to the coronavirus and the pandemic, uh, we won't be able to go film shows. So uh, we're going to ask for everybody to stay safe like we are. Uh, use your Lysol, clean up. Uh, we're going to air some of our older shows. And uh, we'll have our new commercials on it. And uh, everybody stay safe. Check out the shows. Like us on Facebook. But uh, thanks for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, and mustard greens. That's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like the dead long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana. Tightline, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and today we got another treat for y'all. We're out in Lutcher at the Festival of the Bonfires. We got 70 gumbo cooks, y'all. Can't even interview all of them. You got poultry, you got seafood, they got red bean gumbo. We don't know much about that red bean gumbo. We're gonna find out. We got queens, we're gonna be lighting a bonfire, we got bands, we're gonna have a gumbo champion. And Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all, we done made it out here to the outside, and uh, this don't have nothing to do with gumbo out here. And uh, this man's cooking it up. Let's get his name and where he's from. Andrew Dewey, I'm here from Paulina. Okay, so you born and raised here. Yes. Now you tell me you didn't invent this, did you? No, I didn't. Now it's a jambalaya ball. What all y'all got out here? Uh, we got hamburgers, french fries, jambalaya balls. Tomorrow we have jambalaya. And uh, people next to us, they got funnel cakes. Got, well, that's good. You didn't invent that? No, no I wish I would have. <laughs> Man, that's really, really good. It's got the spice of a jambalaya and deep fried. It's just a whole pot of jambalaya. We let it cool, we grind it up. Make balls, roll in flour, and deep fry. All right, y'all. I got two cooks here cooking the red bean gumbo. Let's get their names and where they're from. Uh, Patrick Rome from Broneville, Louisiana. Michael McCrary, Paulina, Louisiana. All right, now y'all cooking the red bean gumbo. Yes, sir. Now tell me how to cook a red bean gumbo. Well, it starts off with a roux like a regular gumbo. Put your all your flour, get a good color, and then you can drop your onions in, and. Uh, we kind of like to do a little pre, a little prep work before with the red beans. We cook our red beans on the side, and we like to hand smash them. We put them in a colander, and we smash all the hull off of the beans, and you put the juices through it, the stock, and uh, that's how you get your good flavor, and do the rest of the way like you cook regular red beans at home. Now, would you add okra or filet to this one? Uh, filet, but not okra. Okay. Now, I see an egg. Is that a bald egg? We add a little bald egg for a little extra flavor. Oh, yeah. All right, fellas. I hope to see y'all up at the podium. I hope so, too. Good luck. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got two of the cooks. I'm going to get their names and where they're from. Jason McClung, Pauline, Louisiana. I'm Todd McClung. I'm from Pauline, Louisiana. I'm going to tell you what. The age-old question, what makes a good gumbo? Good gumbo is the quality of the ingredients. You have your quality of your meat and your vegetables, the freshness of your vegetables. That makes your gumbo right there. What I think is uh, how doggy gets your roux in the beginning and the quality of your, uh, your andouille. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. It's a good smoky flavor. How y'all feeling about them? Y'all got all three. Y'all doing great. Yeah, Guaranteed victory. Today. Guaranteed. Guaranteed victory, y'all. You're hearing it right here. Before we see them on the podium, you're seeing it right here. Yeah. Thank y'all. No problem. All right, y'all got two more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Greg Vero in Lutcher, Louisiana. Ben Martin from Paulina, Louisiana. All right, the age-old question. What makes a good gumbo? Oh, it's a lot of TLC, a little tender love and care, and uh, I like to buy all my products from a local grocery store, Vero Supermarket. They do a real fine job at a lot of the smoke products and all the authentic uh, uh, products. You got that in your gumbo? Correct, yes, I do. We got, gotcha. We got another man just came in. Let's get his name and where he's from. 
I'm Jeremy Martin. I'm from Paulina, Louisiana. Now, how y'all feeling about it? How you feeling about your gumbos? Very confident. We got three good gumbos. Gotcha. So I'm expecting on seeing y'all at the podium? Oh, yeah. You can, I'm going to see one of these faces on the podium. You got it. We will be highly disappointed if neither one of us got a call on the podium. All right, fellas. Thank y'all. Thank All you. right, thank you. thank you. All right, y'all, I got the lady that's put it on right here, Miss Rhonda Lee. How you doing? Glad to be with you this afternoon. Glad to be over here. This is my first time. Well, look, it's not going to be your last. No. I can tell you that much. Well, tell me when this started or how this got started or how long it's been going on. Okay, well, we're celebrating 25 years today. And what it is is that um, years ago, 25 years, on the corner of David Road and the River Road, uh -huh. they started a little festival and it's because of mr paul keller our parish president and mr lj st pierre who was with the jc's at the time but was also a um, councilman and they decided they needed something to really promote these fest these bonfires and it started there and then from there they moved it to the site down this street, in fact, the big uh -huh. old open field, had rain and everything. Then the KC, we moved to the KC home. And then the year right before Tr Katrina, in fact, the Friday before Katrina, we came over here and we said, this is our place. We've been here now for uh, 10 years. Oh, yeah. And um, every year it's getting bigger and better, and we're having a great time. So we got 70 cooks for the gumbo. We sure do. Uh, some other festivities that are going on today are... Uh... Well, the the gumbo fest, uh, well, it's a festival within a festival. Like you, right. you know, it is that. Uh, we have a lighting of the bonfire tonight, and then we'll do one again tomorrow night of another lighting. But tomorrow we have children's, what we call children's day, children's pageants. We got cookie uh, decorating. We have Santa that's gonna be here. We're gonna have a bunch of little children dancing. And then on Sunday, we continue, but we start off with a 5K run every Sunday. Wow. Um, then after that, uh, we also have some bikers that come in. They take a bike ride all, um, throughout the parish. Uh, then we're gonna start off with some more children and then we always finish up with a band, but there's nothing on set, no bonfire on set, uh, Sunday because we close early. Gotcha. And so, but this festival will be going on for, like I said, 25 years. Every uh, year, what's the time every year? Every year is the second full weekend in December. So you can plan it, mark it on your calendar, second full weekend, and it's always, right now, it's always gonna be at the Lutcher Park. Gotcha. This is our home, and um, it's been a great run here. Well, I wanna thank you for inviting us out. Oh, come anytime, bring everybody. You got we it. We love having people visit us. Well, we're fixing to go check on them gumbo cooks. Go cook, go check. And let me tell you, they're all good. I got my four already. Oh, yeah? All right, thank you. All right, y'all, we made it up the levee, and I done found some fellas up here building some bonfires. Thought I'd lend them a hand, but let's get their names and where they from. Uh, I'm Blake Lesh, I'm from Lutcher. I'm Jesse Gidger, I'm from Lutcher. I'm Dane George, and I'm from Lutcher. Brandon Bourgeois, I'm from Lutcher also. And I'm Thomas Wagaspeck, I'm from Lutcher as well. I'd have to say all y'all from Lutcher. <laughs> now, y'all been doing this a while? Y'all been building them every year? Oh, yes, Since y'all was little kids, huh? Yep. Yes, indeed. All right, fellas. We couldn't have this without y'all out here doing this. And I'm going to help. I'm putting something into the fire, y'all. All right. <clears throat> All right, y'all. We found another bonfire builders over here. Let's get the names and where they from. Rudy Roussel, Hester, Louisiana. Jeffrey Daylot, Hester, Louisiana. Dennis Accardo, Paulina, Louisiana. Jackson Roussel, Hester, Louisiana. Maurice Delot, Hester, Louisiana. And Jared Delot. I'm uh, originally from Hester, but I live in Lutcher now. Gotcha. So this is the designation for y'all's spot right here. This was your marker right where to build it. Yes, sir. We uh, we get this spot every year. We uh, apply for the permit, and they uh, receive a permit to build here every year. So that's why, y'all, they, they have the festival is of the bonfire, which raises money to cover the insurance policy for all the workers and all the people that's out here. Right. Now you, you And for the tourists and everything else that come for Christmas Eve. Okay. Now you can have as many people on your crew as you want. Yeah, we usually put about, I mean, we get everywhere, anywhere from 20 to 30 people to come help on okay. the bonfire. Now what y'all building? Um, This year we're gonna do a castle. I got a four year old little girl and we figured we'd do something for the kids. Gotcha, and you're gonna light it Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. What time? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock, we can count on it. All right, fellas, thank y'all for talking to me. No problem, man. We'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. 
All right, y'all, we got another cook-off plan. It's the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. It's a couchon delay. It's April 12th, and it's going to be a big, good time. They got a good food. They got a crackling cook-off. Crackling cook-off. Yes, sir, we do. We have a crackling cook-off, and uh, we challenge anyone to come out and challenge our best cooks and hope to see you there. Yes, indeed. They got a big auction, too. We also have a live auction starting at 4 p.m., and we also have live music from 2 to 6, Kenny Cornett and Killing Time, and we have a washerboard tournament also. Yes, indeed. April 12th, Lutcher Park. Dreams Come True of Louisiana is a nonprofit organization that grants dreams to Louisiana children between ages 3 and 18 with a life threatening illness. Dreams Come True was founded in 1982 by seven families in Denham Springs with a goal of providing dreams to children. All funding was initially provided by those families. Dreams Come True is proud to have one paid employee and provides dreams throughout the state of Louisiana. Dreams Come True provides an average of 65 to 70 dreams per year. Visit our website for more information. DCTOFLA.com. Fred's Bar on the River has something for everyone. Open seven days a week. Football on the big screen TV, pool tables, golf, darts, and the new boat launch bar. Ladies' night on Wednesdays. Thursdays is open mic night. Karaoke on Fridays with DJ Rocky. Live bands on Saturday and Sundays. The Giant River Bar is air-conditioned and ready to book your company's events or your Christmas parties. Come out and enjoy a good time on the river. Porsche's Sausage, located in French Settlement, is bringing back that old country smokehouse flavor and customer service. This third-generation family, dating back to 1946, has all your favorites. Hall cracklings, beef jerky, head cheese, and smoked sausage. Like the old days of Donald Porsche, our on-site butcher has all your specialties. Smoked tasso and hocks, andouille, meat sticks, and Uncle D's Bayou Blend. Come and experience Porsche's sausage. It's a wonderful thing. Hey, y'all, we got another cook-off. Chili and a cornbread cook-off. It's going to be February 21st at Hole in the Wall Seafood. You got to cook at least three gallons of chili, and you got to make a cornbread at least a nine by eleven dish. It's fifty dollars to get in the chili, twenty dollars to get in the cornbread. And I'm challenging all them ladies out there to get in this too. Put some jalapenos in it, put some crawfish in it, put some crab in it. February 21st, chili cook off at Hole in the Wall Seafood. Don't miss it. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. I got some cooks here who's through cooking, and they're sitting around having a good time playing some cards, but I'm going to get their names and where they're from. Pat Whitney from Lutcher. Curtis Cashew from Gramercy. Paul Zarang from Gramercy. Barry Weber from Lutcher. What y'all playing? Euchre. Euchre. First time I heard of it. Similar to Bure, but the only thing, the jack's the boss. If you turn over a heart, the jack of heart would be first, then the jack of diamonds. Ah, Ace King Queen. Who's winning? Right now, this team. Okay. So y'all just y'all's gumbo's ready. How you feeling about your gumbo? Oh, it's lock up. Lock up. All right. See you on the podium. The KC will be there. What you thinking? It's good gumbo. Yes, everything was good. We have three pots they're cooking here. Oh, y'all in all three? Yes, they have red bean gumbo, they have seafood gumbo, and they have chicken and andouille gumbo. Red bean. So, chicken. Seafood. All right. All right, y'all. These cooks are through. They taking it easy. Kick back. Having a good time. We fixed to go find the queens, y'all, and see what they're doing. All right, y'all. Found the queens. Let's get their names and where they're from. I'm Erin Monica from Laplace, Louisiana. I'm Cameron Daylight from Paulina, Louisiana. Now, y'all just became queens. Yes, sir. And so you got a whole year to go all over and, and talk about the bonfires. Uh-huh. Wow. Do y'all eat gumbo? Yes, I love gumbo. All right. And they got they got bread pudding. They got potato salad. They got all kind of gumbo. Now, which gumbo is your favorite? Uh, I like a good seafood gumbo. And yours? Chicken and dewey. All right. All right, y'all. The queens are even going to eat some gumbo. Thank y'all for talking with me. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. You're welcome. All right, y'all. got two more cooks. Let's get their names and where they're from. Adam Keller. I'm from Lutcher, Louisiana. Blake Luke. I'm from Paulina, Louisiana. All right, I'm going to ask you that age-old question. What makes a good gumbo? Hey, a little freshly smoked whole meat. Stuff right, straight out of the garden and love. Love. Hey, a little tender loving. Got to have the TLC. How do y'all feel about your gumbos? 
We're going to take first. First. Confidence. First overall team in this competition. I like to hear that. We're going to see y'all at the podium. Thank y'all. All right, y'all got another cook. Let's get his name and where he's from. Boris Williams from Santa Mola, Louisiana. All right, I'm going to ask you that question. What makes a good gumbo? Uh, most people going to tell you it's in the root. I'll tell you it's how you stir your root. Oh, yeah. Well, how you feeling about yours? Feeling good. Feeling good. I think uh, I think we're going to come out successful today. Oh, yeah? All right. Now, you cooked all three? Y'all cooked all three? Uh, we cooked a uh, chicken, chicken andouille sausage gumbo here, red bean gumbo here, chicken andouille sausage gumbo there. Well, we'll be seeing you in the winter circle. That's right. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right, y'all. Got two more cooks. Let's get their names and where they from. Jeff Byron, Prairieville. Scott Duplass, and Santa Mall. All right, Jeff, that age-old question, what makes a good gumbo? The roof. We worked on our roof for about an hour and 10 minutes. Wow. And a long time. Gotcha. Well, how you feeling about it? Well, we rookies are here. We, we jumble a lot of cooks from yeah. Gonzales. Yeah. So we are new. We like it, but we don't know what, what we're up against. We're going to see. I bet y'all were amazed when they brought you their rice. Yeah, yeah, it's all right, you know. But uh, we're we going to put gumbo on the top of it. We'll be all right. You got it. Good luck to y'all. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, y'all made it to the Motiva booth. Hey. Let's get their names and where they from. Glenn Vicknab from Gramercy, Louisiana. I'm Stephanie Boswell from Geismer. Geismer? Are you? All right. <laughs> hey, now the age-old question. What makes a good gumbo? What makes a good gumbo is a lot of good seasoning. Smoked sausage, andouille. Smoke turkey necks, and you have to get the roux right. Takes about 35, 40 minutes. Get it nice, dark, and brown. Throw your seasoning and all the other ingredients. That's what makes a good gumbo. I'm hungry. Take, listen to that. Oh, yes. Now, why is Motiva part of this cook-off? Well, Motiva is um, very involved with the community, and this is a huge festival. We know that it's important to this area and important to the culture. And uh, so Motiva is very proud to be involved, not only financially, but also volunteers. We have a lot of volunteers tonight uh, out here and having a great time. Awesome. Now, what's your favorite gumbo? Red bean, poultry, or seafood? My favorite gumbo is seafood. I love the crab, the shrimp, that's all, and even the oysters that are thrown in there. So if you're coming out here, look for the seafood gumbo. That's the best one that I enjoy the most. You heard it from Motiva right here, y'all. Thank y'all. Thank you. All right, y'all, look who I found, Mr. Dave Nussbaum. <laughs> How you doing? Doing good. I cried when you left the weather over there, Channel 2. Oh, I'm sorry, but you guys will still see me, though. i got to go online but still catch my weather. Gotcha. How, how's it going on the tasting? Pretty good, pretty good. There's a couple of close ones so far, and then uh, the other ones kind of you know, left and right. Tons gotcha. of different flavor. You'd imagine, can well imagine how much flavor you can have with this. This is hard work. It is very hard work, real hard, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for talking with us. Sure, no problem. This is a great time. Glad to be here. Thank you. y'all found some kids having a blast here man let me get their names and how old they are what's your name Diani. and how old are you four and your name jaya 
How old are you? Eleven. Are y'all having fun? Yeah. That looks like a fun ride. Yeah. Well, y'all keep on having fun. <laughs> we'll be right back after a few words from our sponsors. All right, y'all, we got another cook-off plan. It's the Lutcher Gramercy Lions Club. It's a couche on delay. It's April 12th, and it's going to be a big, good time. They got a good food. They got a crackling cook-off. Crackling cook-off. Yes, sir, we do. We have a crackling cook-off, and uh, we challenge anyone to come out and challenge our best cooks and hope to see you there. Yes, indeed. They got a big auction, too. We also have a live auction starting at 4 p.m., and we also have live music from 2 to 6, Kenny Cornett and Killing Time, and we have a washerboard tournament also. Yes, indeed. April 12th, Lutcher Park. The new, completely renovated Fred's on the River Food Mark, located at the Port Vincent Bridge, is now back open and better than ever. With biscuits, coffee, and sandwiches ready every morning at 4.30 to get you started. And a full breakfast menu from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. featuring homemade hash browns, pancakes, eggs, and our country-style biscuits and gravy. Our newly renovated store has all your needs from local vendors, plus cold beer, lottery, gas, and tobacco. Try our new lunch and dinner menu featuring our famous boat launch burger, overstuffed New Orleans-style pressed po' boys, 100% beef hamburgers, pizza, and by far the best onion strings you have ever tasted. So come by and enjoy Fred's on the River Food Mart, where we've come back bigger and better than ever but we haven't lost our hometown feel. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center, an authorized Hustler, Bobcat, and Toro lawnmower dealer. Specializing in service, support, and satisfaction. Come see the wide selection of new mowers, parts, string trimmers, blowers, chainsaws, and much more. Our home center features hardware, feed, outdoor cooking supplies, hunting gear, and everything for the do-it-yourself homeowner. Come take a short country drive to the hidden jewel of Livingston and experience real professional knowledge and health. Livingston Mower Supply and Home Center. Monogramming Unlimited specializes in corporate and small business embroidery on a wide variety of clothing and accessories like shirts, jackets, hats, bags, and much more. Our screen printing department is perfect for you. A very affordable way to advertise your business, club, team, or event. We also handle business cards, promotional items like pins and huggies, trophies, medals, plaques, banners, and signs. No job is too big or too small. Call or come by today. Hey, y'all, we got another cook-off, chili and a cornbread cook-off. It's going to be February 21st at Hole in the Wall Seafood. You got to cook at least three gallons of chili, and you got to make a cornbread at least a 9 by 11 dish. It's $50 to get in the chili. $20 to get in the cornbread. And I'm challenging all them ladies out there to get in this too. Put some jalapenos in it. Put some crawfish in it. Put some crab in it. February 21st, chili cook-off at Hole in the Wall Seafood. Don't miss it. Welcome back. You're watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. I done found something that's not even in the contest. It's called gumbo blanc. It's a white gumbo. What? It's like a etouffee or a bisque. Gumbo blanc. Awesome. All right, y'all. I done caught a man walking around with a crab here. Let's get his name and where he's from. My name's Lloyd Foley. I'm right here from Lutcher, Louisiana. Man, I can. that smells awesome, bro. I know. It's, I'm telling you what, it's our competitor. Sitting here right in the same booth, but yeah. the seafood gumbo is delicious. I know, I know it was good because I seen him walking around with the shell, sucking on the shell. Yeah, it's it's you know what? It's you gotta get all every little every little bit out of it, you know. So how you feel about your gumbo? We, it came out pretty good. Good. I good. think we I think we should be in the mix, no doubt about it. All right. But, well, hopefully we'll see you up at the podium. Yes, sir. Thanks, man. Yeah, no problem. All right, y'all. I done found a good gumbo here. Say, we, the 2014 community, are committed to promoting a tradition that is dear to our hearts. We are St. James proud, and as we would say, come and experience a free loop to the famous Christmas Eve bonfires, a tradition unique to St. James Parish and to the world, 
Thank you, everybody. Enjoy the night and come all three days. Thank you. I thank you, my committee. y'all got second place in poultry i got third place in bread pudding and potato salad third place in potato salad all right who you want to thank man who you want to thank for all this well i got to thank the pyrons for inviting me to come do this all they right. uh every 15 years or so he suckers me into cooking in a competition so i got to thank him gotcha well who you want to thank i want to thank my mama for teaching me how to cook and bay Rons for sponsoring us Okay. Now, who you want to thank for winning? I want to thank the good Lord and my mama all right. for teaching me and him for giving me the grace of the talent. All right. Well, I want to thank all of y'all. Good job. Appreciate it. Thanks, Rod. Thank all right, y'all. This is the three winners right here out of each category. I'm going to get to taste them. This is the chicken. Good. Very good. This is the uh, seafood. Ah, dog. I don't know how them judges did it. And this is the red bean. I don't know. I love the chicken. You can take the, the deep stock in the chicken. I love that. The seafood has some kind of, I don't know, a little crab ball kick to it. Really, really good. And the red bean, that may be the first time I've ate red bean gumbo. And I like it too. And if I had to pick one of these three to be the grand champion, I would have to say the seafood only because I'm a seafood man. So we're going to see what the judges think. So that's my opinion. All right, y'all. I got the all around champion right here, Travis Email. Congratulations, bro. Thank you very much. Who do you want to thank? I want to thank Rain CII Corbin for sponsoring us in this event. I want to thank the Bonfire Festival. It's, it's a great cause, it's, it's a great community event. And it's y'all come out and have a good time. It's gonna be fun. Thank y'all. Thanks, man. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, y'all. Cousin Larry here. Thank you. Great Rodney. job, bro. Hey, Great Rodney. Job. Thank you very much for you and your team coming out here to help me and my team out. But the you know, one thing I want to tell you: when we do an event like this, it's not one person. We got a small army, as you saw. And I thank all of the people that helped me, plus all of them judges that came here. A diverse group of people. Thank you, Rodney. I want to say, tell everybody to come next year to the Festival of the Bonfires. And if you never came, you need to be here. Y'all, good food, good fun, good people. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. Hey, I hope y'all like the show. Uh, during these hard times right now with the coronavirus, uh, things are going to get better. And together, we're going to be able to uh, fix this, you know. We're going to go back to normal soon. And when things do go back to normal, I want y'all to let us know your events coming up. When things are coming, give us a call. Uh, I want to thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking, and we'll see you next week.